everyone. Welcome to Wellness Wisdom. I'm Tammy. And I'm Tamika. Welcome, welcome to episode three. Yes, we're back here again. Yes, we are. Ooh, girl, let me tell you before we get started. Look at these cute shoes. <laughs> My cousin gave me these. <laughs> My heart's so cute. They're just flip flops. Right. Although I will show you since you did. They're comfy. These are very comfortable. They're Skechers and I went to the store to buy them a few months back and they were like $45. Girl. So I'm like, I can't, I don't want to spend $45 on um, flip flops. So I went to TJ Maxx and got them for like $12.99. Give me five, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you. Same exact. Yeah. Same exact. Same exact. And that's what we're going to talk about one day. We're going to talk about clothing and shoes. Yeah. So stay tuned for that episode. But today we're going to talk about something that we is just near and dear to our heart. Gut health. Yeah. And so important. What? Let me tell you, the first thing that people think about when I say gut health is like they're rolling their eyes and they're like, <laughs> how big is your stomach? And none of, No, we're not talking about how big or small because we got to say that too true um your stomach is that is not gut health right yeah no no, no. It's all on the inside all on the inside yeah. and that is what is that like our first brain or second brain or something it's our second brain, it's our yes. second brain right constantly yeah. um in in connection to your mm -hmm. brain so yeah. they're constantly in communication mm -hmm. so yeah. like those so headaches important. yes headaches tummy all aches from there it yeah. all like you know when you get a headache you get a tummy ache yeah. it's an indication of what yeah gut health gut health <laughs> and that yeah. leaky gut and leaky gut ibs oh all that kind so of many things that's kind of how we met we met on gut, gut health, health. <laughs> <laughs> that's true and yeah that's so funny. yeah yeah really so funny. um that is just a a deep i know we're laughing about it but it it is it, so many things mm -hmm. that come out of gut health and Yep. You know, the lack of education that yeah, I, I even had. Yeah, I, I didn't knew know. nothing about it. I, I mean, know. when I went to I I um, a doctor and she told me, she's like, you have a leaky gut. I'm like, what, what is that? Hey, what is that? Is there anything leaking out? My, you know, my side, I'm like, no. Yeah. And then, you know, some, a lot of pain. Yeah. And then sometimes people will say, you know, when I say something about gut, it's like, oh, why is she looking at me like that? You know? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Man. Gut health is like the key to everything. To yeah. everything in our health yeah. and there, it, it's such a broad um range of information so we're going to just keep it really simple yes um yes. If, what, what we have learned through this journey of gut health um which was the for me and i'm sure for you was the missing link to mm -hmm. wellness for me mm -hmm. um and a lot of the reason why I think last week i mentioned i was i was working so hard at not getting the results that i wanted to get um, and part of that was I was working too hard, but the other part of it was my body was so off balance right. from the inside. Right. And um, I had so much pain. I had migraines. I had stomach issues. I had leaky gut. I had I had a, a host of things that I didn't know it was all because of gut health. gut health. And here, me was I was in the time I was crossfitting. I was teaching Zumba. I was training to run. I was constantly working out like you mm -hmm. and the thing about it is and I and I always say and I know we talked about this last week I would focus on scripture so while I'm running I would have the Word of God literally in my ears and get my time and I would I would hear and, and meditate on God saying that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and it would just motivate me to keep going and keep going but what I realized is that after a while, I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I'm out of breath. And then I would lay down in the bed and I'm itching all over. And something was going on inside that I could not put my finger on it. And I know all the people that I was running with were probably like, she is lying. You know, <laughs> like, because you could, I couldn't put my finger on it, but yeah. I knew deep down that something was going on with my body inside and as healthy as I thought I was yeah because I am that gym rat I'm that person that you put me in one time I did this co crossfit competition I did round three of it and I just want to keep going and going and going that adrenaline is just yeah. pumping 
but I had to pay attention to my body. Yeah. So gut health does not discriminate on whether you are in the gym or not. And that is the biggest, biggest myth yeah. out yeah. there, yeah. right? Yeah, like I don't need it because I eat right, right. I, I work out and... I get my veggies, get and, my my, veggies. and my yeah. fruits in yeah. and all that. And it's far more yeah. than that. Yeah. yeah. I listened to a TED Talk. Maybe actually we can link it in yeah. this, these show notes. Um, I, I don't remember the girl's name, but she, she did. It's only like 17 minutes, and she talked all about gut health and the brain gut connection. Mm -hmm. And it was really very interesting. Mm -hmm. So that is something that we can link. But today we have, well, we want to tell you a little bit about what gut health is um, in simple terms. And then we have a special guest who's yeah. going to um, share her testimony that once she started taking, she, she did a lot of things for her health and um, she had um, a severe diagnosis and she, she did a lot of the right things, but her missing link was gut health and she's going to share her testimony. So. Stay tuned for that on, on this episode. Yeah, yeah, stay minutes. tuned. We're going to have her yeah. come on. And I'm just so excited because I believe that that's mostly everyone's mm -hmm. missing link. Yeah. Is I, I think gut so health. So yeah. I am looking forward. Yeah, I and I can't too. wait to introduce you to her. So um, gut health, basically, what I've learned on this journey for the past five years, almost six now, um, is your gut is like a garden. Mm -hmm. So when you think of your, when you think of a garden and you think of like flowers, when you're about to plant some new pretty flowers, the first thing that you need to do in that garden is pull out all the weeds, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to pull out all the dead stuff, all the stuff that could cause the new flowers to die. Mm -hmm. Because if you plant a new flower in the weeds, it's going to kind of be choked out yeah. by, by all that gunk. So we have a lot of gunk in our gut. So when we start taking, say, a probiotic, we start feeding our bodies the good bacteria, but we have so much overgrowth of bad bacteria, this stuff called candida and yeast, and, and all of that is in there that, that the good bacteria can't thrive because it kind of gets pushed out by the bad. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to weed out mm -hmm. um, the bad, the bad. So, and you could do that, uh, you know, through a very good um, probiotic that has digestive enzymes, um, digestive enzymes themselves, um, some certain foods that you're eating. Your diet is very important when it comes to your gut health and the things that you're eating. So there's different ways to do that. And then you, uh, you, your body needs to eliminate those things. So you need something, and I'm not talking like a fast, like a, um, like a cleanse that we do, because those are very- Not different. running to the bathroom. Yeah, not running <laughs> to the bathroom or having to stay home because you're doing this cleanse thing. Yeah. That's actually very harsh on your body. Yeah. So you need to weed out all that other stuff. And then once you weed, you can start feeding your body mm -hmm. and seeding it the good. So, so once you pull out all the weeds, then you can start planting the good. And then you feed the good bacteria as well. So you need to weed, you need to seed, and then you need to feed. So you need to... Say that again. Weed, weed seed, seed, and, and feed. feed. Right, yeah. right, right. So, so, and then, of course, you want to protect that by your habits. So once you're on this gut health journey and you start weeding out the bad start feeding the good, you start like with a prebiotic feeding that good bacteria so the good grows and we can kind of flip flop. You know, right now, the average person has about 80% bad bacteria and 20% good and it's really supposed to be the opposite but most of us because of medications, Advil, foods we eat, fried foods, environmental, all of these different things kind of Girl. exaggerate all the bad, right? Girl, that Advil attacks your kidneys to yeah. no end. Yeah, it's, you know, so, and we all take an Advil every once in a while, you know, it's, sometimes it's unavoidable, you know, yeah. like you're, you, other, whatever, but, um, so you want to weed out all the bad, you want to feed it the good, um, and then you want to feed that good bacteria. So seed it with the good and then feed the good bacteria so the good bacteria grows. Mm -hmm. um, and that is a very important part of your, um, your wellness journey because you have to take care of your gut. And when your gut is balanced, when you're taking a multivitamin and you're, the other things that your body needs, your, your body's going to absorb it better because it's balanced. When it's off balance, the body doesn't 
you do said you said to. something key about a multivitamin because some of these multivitamins you go into those stores and you know um i went into a pharmacy once and i'm not going to say which one or whatever and i was asking for you know something natural and organic and he said the pharmacist said there is nothing in here that is and he's like i'm not supposed to tell you this but it isn't and then when oh. you look at the ingredients yeah ingredients I was just, matter in yeah the, the first one is so important. sugar I we're gonna know. get in that yeah, conversation, we'll in that conversation. <laughs> that's another time yeah. but you know and, and even if you're thinking you're eating it just because it says organic look and read those labels because you might be doing more harm than good and i had a doctor actually make me throw away all my supplements that i bought, bought from a, a certain pharmacy because wow. yeah she said it's not doing anything for you so those that these things are scary and you know gut health is so 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 important and sometimes we'll feel okay now we got to our 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 bodies balanced and nicely and we think okay let's quit now and it's not yeah, no can. this is a lifetime no, so not, because it's, it, lifetime it's more than more than just the medicine it's the air we breathe and yes unfortunately that we know according to the bible that as as we get older the earth is 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 decaying yeah. you know until that new jerusalem <laughs> yeah Wait for that new body yeah, yeah. that new glorified body child <laughs> but uh yeah, yeah. So, so, so okay so without further ado yes without introduce <laughs> we want to introduce christy yep she's yeah. a friend of ours that we we met about um two years ago who started on this gut health journey and um we have been blessed and um, she has become a super, super close friend of yes. mine. Um, I talk to this girl every single day. We've only met in person twice, but because of this journey and me being able to help guide her on this journey, she has such an amazing testimony that um, it will bring tears to your eyes. I've heard it so many times, and every time she talks, she cries. I cry. Get your tissues and, out. Get your tissues out. <laughs> and, um, Christy, um, we are looking forward to hearing your story. So yeah. it's all yours now. It's girl. all yours. Thanks, guys. Um, so I'm going to share a little bit about my story. In 2019, I was diagnosed with a rare neurological condition. It's actually called hemiplegic migraine. So it's a type of a migraine, but it was on this complex side. And the symptoms that I would have with this is basically it mimicked a stroke. I had the same symptoms of a real stroke, just without the obstruction that would cause one. I had a uh, right-sided paralysis. I would lose my speech. Um, I would lose my ability to walk, talk, um, swallow. I just had to wait for it to pass. These would happen maybe three to four times a day and lasted a couple of hours um, at the, at those at the, when it was at the worst. Um, and then the really, really bad ones, I called a level 10 attack. And these actually affected the both parts of my body. And I would get totally paralyzed. Um, and I couldn't walk, talk, swallow, speak, nothing. And then it usually affected my lungs as well. And I would end up fainting. Um, these are the times that I would end up in the back of an ambulance and they were calling a stroke alert because they didn't know if this was the real stroke that they always told me that I was going to have not. Um, I was at a higher risk. These were also the ones where I had to relearn how to walk. So in six, five years, I had to relearn how to walk. Six, no, sorry. And um, five years, I had to relearn how to walk six times. So that means one year it happened twice. Um, I also would have to learn how to walk and talk and swallow, but walking is what took months of um, physical therapy and occupational therapy to open and close and just to move my hand for fine motor skills. My day to day was um, just about survival. I lived in a bubble. I was trying to avoid these attacks at all costs. I had a lot of triggers that would bring them on from barometric pressure to um, certain ingredients and foods to even fluorescent lighting. Um, so I didn't go really anywhere. Um, I didn't really drive anywhere. And I just try to live day to day, not to go to a hospital. Um, I was on 16 medications 
Um, I was being sent from doctor to doctor because they kept saying, I don't know how to help you anymore. So um, try this guy. And they usually would just add medications and um, send me to the next one. One doctor even had a disability papers ready for me to go at my appointment. Of course, I got denied um, because that's always kind of what happens. And at the same time, I was dealing with a lot of mental health issues, anxiety and depression. And, um, you know, some days I would wake up, I didn't know which one was going to take me out, but I felt like one of these things were going to take me out. Things were extremely hard. Um, the rock bottom, though, you would think this is rock bottom, but the rock bottom is when I had to relearn how to walk the sixth time. I had the same familiar sensation and the same familiar um, scenarios in the back of an ambulance, stroke alert being called. I was in and out of unconsciousness and um, things had seemed a little bit more promising that year because I had made some changes to my diet and um, I had been working with a doctor who was trying to help me. And from going attacks from three to four a day, they went from three to four a week and I had gotten, um, I thought better. And I almost made it a whole year without being in the back of an ambulance. And that was the 11 month mark. So I didn't make it. I remember being so upset and angry and um, I didn't know what else to do. And um, I had come home from the hospital in my wheelchair and a friend called me. I hadn't seen her in two years and I hadn't really talked to her in a while. And she said, um, God keeps telling me I need to talk to you about something. Hmm. So I said, okay, um, go ahead, you know, call me. And it was about gut health and about these supplements and how she felt like God was telling her that I really needed to try them. And I was a little apprehensive at first because anything new um, kind of was not promising for me anything and you know any type of new thing could have sent me to the hospital so um the more she talked to me about it she was actually telling me the same things that the doctor that was helping me prior um had told me about gut health and how um the same kind of ingredients and how these things could really affect your body how gut health really um affects everything and um i said okay i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a try um, after prayer and talking to God, and I finally realized, you know, it's time to do it his way. I need to get out of his way and let him, um, guide my steps. I did it scared because again, I didn't know if this was going to make me react and end up, you know, in the ICU again. But, um, so I trusted him. And at the same time, he was telling me to do something else. And you would think is kind of crazy because I was still, my wheelchair still in my walker we learning how to walk and he told me that I was going to run a 5k um I had to google what a 5k was because uh I never you would never catch me running ever I knew how to do something with running but I didn't know what the distance was um and what that meant and a 5k is 3.10 miles and it really was just an act of obedience because um I couldn't run at the time. I was still trying to regain my strength to walk. So I actually, so I said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. And I started um, not running. I started walking laps in the mall because one, it's Florida and it has AC and it has benches. So um, I would take breaks if I needed to. And then um, I slowly started getting stronger and then I started walking outside and then I started trying to run a little bit. And over time, after a couple of months, I got my I got better and better. Um, the the strength in my in my right side, they told me that was permanently damaged. I actually started regaining strength, and my attacks started getting less and less, and they started not being so severe and and so intense. And in four months, my all of these issues they told me that I would have for the rest of my life including the um, mental health issues just disappeared. They just, they just didn't come back. And in four months, I also ran that 5k that God told me that I was going to run. And um, 
you know, I was extremely slow. Uh, the walkers were probably passing me. But when I crossed that finish line, it honestly felt like I had won a, um, the Olympic gold medal. Because honestly, in my, in my eyes, I, I had just won the gold medal. Um, and then I just kept going because um, I was feeling so great. I had never felt this healthy. I had never f felt so great. Um, I wanted to see what else I could do. I, I wanted to test the limits of my body. Um, instead of living in fear all the time, I was able to just see what my body could do. So I kept running. And that October, so May was my 5K. That October, I ran a 6K. And then I kept going. And that one, and on the one year anniversary from the last attack that I had, the one that put me in the hospital, the one that I said that was hit my rock bottom, I ran a half marathon on that day. And anytime, um, you know, anytime I run still, I cry because any free step I take is just a testament to God's faithfulness and um, how he has the final word to our story. Um, but the story isn't in there. So a month after that, January 2020, um, we all have a 2020 story, I'm pretty sure. And um, I ended up back in the hospital. This time, it was a different um, reason. I was, I was fainting, and my heart it was going very, very low. Um, the doctors weren't for sure why that was happening. Um, the word pacemaker was thrown around way too many times. And finally, after a long story short, um, we found out that I was living in toxic mold in our house and I had mold toxicity. That was kind of blew up, uh, set a bomb off in my body. Um, so from going to the strongest and healthiest I have ever felt um, for about a year to being pretty weak and uh, fatigued and days where I couldn't get out of bed. So this was another crossroads I was at. Um, and all I could remember is God telling me, are you going to trust me? Are you going to trust me with this too? Um, you know, I had a choice to either choose fear or I was going to choose faith. And God shown up every other time. I couldn't see it and I couldn't understand it, but I knew I needed to trust him. Um, so the past year, uh, well, through the mold toxicity, we actually found out the real um, and, and through my doctor um, and more investigating the real issue of all of my health issues since 2009 has actually been Lyme disease. And the, the mold and the running kind of just brought it to surface. Uh, um, so now I'm actually going through treatment for mold and for Lyme. And at the time I, you know, it was definitely um, hard to think, okay, here's another battle. But the more that I've talked to God and prayed over it, um, everything that I've gone through already in life has prepared me for this because this has honestly been the hardest mentally, physically, and spiritually that I have ever done. Um, but everything that I've endured strengthened me and prepared me for this. And um, I know that the, God gave me the healing um, for hemiplegic migraines to be able to sustain this um, treatment and to be able to be strong enough physically to be able to, to handle the detox and the reactions that it brings. Um, he's just been faithful for every step of the way um, and providing to be able to get through this treatment and um, just getting my body and my mind prepared for it. And it's, it's really cool to see all the puzzle pieces come together and how, how God really works. Um, Hebrews 11, one says, now faith is being sure of what we hope for, hope for and certain of what we, what we do not see. And sometimes no matter the situation that you're in, you may not be able to see it, but it's about believing that 
God is good. And it's knowing who he is and knowing who his character is that no matter what comes towards you, what comes at you, you already know that he's the one that's in control and he's the one that knows best and what, you know, his plans for you are to um, give you hope in the future and, and to help you prosper. So um, we don't always see it and we won't always understand it. We're not even asked to figure it all out. Um, it's just our faith that's going to do that for us. So I'm eager to see what comes next. I'm excited. I know that um, I'm going to continue to heal and continue to get better. And my next goal is to get to that marathon one day. So thanks, guys. Her story is amazing. Oh, I, my God. It's oh, so, amazing. so amazing. Oh, I cry God. every single time I hear it. And she starts to cry, you know, when she's telling it. So that always gets me, too, because I can imagine going from no hope to oh, hope. Oh my and uh, it's just, just amazing. Oh, wow. So. But let's get a Woo, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. and so. um, just be excited that there is hope out there. Um, maybe what she has done for her, may herself for may work mm -hmm. for someone else. Maybe not, but at least, um, you know, it's something to try and something to think about, something to research. And, um, you know, maybe it will help you as well. It, it helped me. It helped Tammy. It definitely helped me too. And yeah. um, we just, yeah. you know, that's why we're here. We want to help and, yeah. and, and, and show you how, and, and how the Lord you know, helped us mm -hmm. on this journey yeah. and we all met each other. Yeah. So it's, it, it's a blessing in so, so many, many ways. ways. Yeah, the community is, is just amazing. It's just that we amazing. Have and, and, uh, yeah, so yeah. And we want to share that with you. So, so next week, week. Oh, yay! <laughs> Oh, we're going to be in the kitchen. I'm pulling this girl in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yes, yes. Yep. And we're going to teach how to just cook healthy yeah. and, and prepare and, a healthy meal yes, for you guys. Yes. So, and yeah. still taste good because I'm all good. about tasting good. Yeah, so, too. yeah, for yeah. Sure. Yes, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. So I'll have dinner that night since we're at my house. Dinner on me. You can take some home. Okay, I'll take some home for my husband and my daughter. And, you know, so yeah. so meet yeah. us in the kitchen next week for yes. episode Four. And thank you for joining you us. For joining God us. bless you. Like yes. and subscribe. Like, and share, subscribe, and share. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.